Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I'd like to show you that how to replace this Hyundai and Kia's rear brake pads. And first step is that when we are planning to replace those brake pads, is that we need this uh, tool. What is in in here? And it is 22 millimeter socket for which in these bolts in there and I will show that how to open those and I take the socket and there we have the socket what is in this what is that size and it is 22 millimeter and then we need long bar and size was 2 2 millimeters and it fits in here and then I need to rotate in that position and this bolts over. And, and I need to only a little bit loosen those bolts. We don't take those bolts away because next step is that we need to lift up this this uh, car body that we can we can insert this our feel in like air that is it moves free, freely in there. And then remember that when we work with these uh, car repair jobs, these are dangerous and that's we need to als always install some support things like in here. This is like support things in there what keeps this car body up. And in this kind of steel and support jack are best. And we need to insert those in, in just in below of this car body, like this gray bar is in there. That, that this, this tool is like safety thing to us, because sometimes this car breaks and system collapse. And then when we are working in there, our head or body or foot can become between this car body and then this ground and it is horrible situation and, and remember I have not ever tested that because it it kills it is it is normally let hull experience it kills like John Rambo in Vietnam remember that and that's a recommend that we use the always this high quality steel and Bars. And then I lift this car up because I have this jack, and now I lift this. Okay, and now there is my support is keeping it is there, and then I need to only rotate these bolts away if they are really using using my hand but then using this my my tool and in that way I insert this in here. Okay and now this bolt is free and there is four others and then I take all of those away and then we can take this wheel away and soon soon we continue. Okay and now I have take all of those five bolts away and then I can take this cover away in that way this is remove and then I need to take this wheel away and then remember this wheel is quite heavy it weighed something like 20 to 40 pounds and it means about to 10 to 20 kilos and that's you need to have a little bit force and insert your fingers in here and then only or some other way lift up this carefully because this is this is heavy please train that so that that maybe this wheel is good to be in lower level if you have not ever lift this wheel because they are really big, big heavy. 
especially for women and and men who have not lived any wage. Okay, and then we can see this our target area, and this is like this break disk, and here we have those break pads, and then there is bolt in here, and let's go to look those bolts next, and we need socket also. Okay, and then it's time to open these bolts, and there is two bolts, one in here, and one in the lower, and we need for that job this uh, 14 millimeter socket what I have in here and this this tool fits fits in that area and then I insert my socket in here and then look there is a situation that there is not much space and this opening direction is in that way now it opens this was easy to open and then this lower bolt also and I insert that in here we can we can move that in here down for the opening is that and normally these bolts they are not very tight but sometimes they could be tight and then then it's good to good to remember that that in this way it was this opening because they are not so easy to open always and then I rotate this bolt away it looks like in that and 14 millimeter sides okay and then I take this low bolt also away and then use gloves because these are dirty and do not intake this dusty and sand in here because this is harmful brake pads they can include this asbestos and no any compressed air in that area remember this is only water we can water add water in here and now there is second similar bolt and then normally when we move that little bit this brake caliber in that way and we can use tongs it normally moves away in this position and then we can take this brake pads away in, in sometimes they can this can be quite tight and like in here and I need a little bit extra tools okay and now I have extra tools and normally this we can start to open these things in this flat screwdriver an idea is that I insert that my screwdriver in that position in their hole and then I start to little bit move that in this direction and in normal cars this opens like in here then I insert my in that area and that area and a little bit bending and now it opens and now it seems that these my brake pads are actually almost new they, because how to notice that this is new because there is this hole this checking hole and so long when we have this hole in there we don't need to do anything because this tells that that I have this amount of this breaking bad material, material to burn out and then I take the second out and sometimes it's good in that position that I insert my, my, my tool in here then I take hammer and I little bit hammer this my there is tool I hammer this break pad in this up area in here and also in this up area and carefully a little bit this position it's like not in this way a little bit upper one and, and then this pad opens okay and here is this second pad and it looks also 
well. Okay, and that means that now these are actually almost brand new. And what we can do next? Because I can see that in this previous service person, he or she has missed to install in here special lubricant because there we can see rusty. This brown thing is bad. It's rusty. And this rusty means that quite soon this pad is stuck with this brake caliper, what is in here. And it is bad, because all these braking pads idea is that, that all parts must be movable all time, summer and winter, every day. They are not planned to join like welded together. Because if we welded this together, then we have stuck brakes, because normally this all pads, now I have handbrake on, that's this disc, don't move. But, but always this brake disc is moving, and also these parts must be flexible. And that's I saw that, that how to then, when we have like new brake pads, that how to install this back in here. Okay, let's think that this is new brake pad, and actually this is really, it, this material is like a new brake pad. And, and then when I install these new brake pads back, I need first this special grease and lubricant and this name is metal metal free paste. And this this paste is suitable for there is picture in that area. That these areas for brake pads, remember, not in that area. In that area in here, what is this, it looks like this metallic, what goes to against this brake disc in that way. This is all always clean. No any oils or paints in that area. All materials are forbidden. No any paste or uh, lubricant in here. Because if we insert that lubricant in here, then there happens so that our brakes, they don't work. The, we, we have then slippery disc. And our target is that they are break, breaking. They break, break our car. And that's be carefully that in that disc, no anything in here and no anything in this pass. Okay, but this other side is the other story. And this end and down areas, in these areas we need lubricant. And I start this my lubrication so that that I insert this my this is why this metal free paste is so good because this is so hot temperature thing 1400 1, Celsius and it's huge huge amount of temperature and this adding happens so that I press this tube and then I insert there something like that amount is this paste and then I take my finger and I, I carefully insert that white paste almost all areas in that other side of this brake pad and this is now very well protected against rusty corrosion and all also this eliminates vibration and it's lubricated this, this is good and, and then I need I, I, I add similar thing to this other part also and then I have this this was like starting point now I have added this one paste in that other side in my brake pad and then I need this the most basic basic brake lubricant what name is copper paste and it is almost similar than this white material, but it is not the same, because this, this lubricant is suitable for these brake pads, those upper areas, and also these steel nuts, what we have in here, that we need to then install this my lubricant first to these up and down points, in this way, or oh, a little bit more then this down point a little bit less and then those bolts in here in 
in that way. And if these bolts are also important to add this lubricant, the same way every brake repair we add until this copper paste. And then I take my finger and I, I insert like smooth area in all bolts. And then there is no corrosion in these our bolts. It's good to remember. Okay, and then important, these brake pads. I added this upper copper paste in here. And now I take a little bit away and then in that area. And it is like two points. Here is copper paste and here. And then these areas in here, I can a little bit insert this lubricant in here. But be careful that we don't insert this copper paste in this brake disc. It must be clean. But now this pad is ready for back installation. And actually, I can, I can by the way, install that quite soon. But before of that, I need to do something else because there we have two like steering bolts in here, these bolts, and they must be all time, all time very flexible. They must must be moved like in that way by three. They they must be really elastic, and that's in that area. We need to take these bolts away so that I only pull out this metallic. Part and and this it's good to keep this rubber boot in here. And, and, uh, okay, and now it opens and there is this bolt and in that bolt what comes in here, what it must be lubricant. We need the next interesting thing and this is this is break lubricant and this is then for all other things in the brake disc and brake pass area where we can't use this uh, copper paste and also this white metal metal free paste and this is suitable also for all rubber areas like in that one there is this there is this interesting thing where we have a lot of issues. This brake caliber and especially, especially in that area in here. This we have issues because this is piston what moves in here in that way. And, and it normally when a car becomes old it becomes stuck and then our brakes don't work or they are bad and there is noise and that's I can insert that my brake lubricant in these parts and, and also in this plastic sealant what is this one in that way I add this my glue in there it is like Vaseline but it is it works with it has been designed for this brake things and in that area and also in that shape, in this way. And then this other area, what is in here, this area, in there inside, in that area, I, I insert that in first in my finger, in here, and then I add in here. And why I add that thing in here? Because I like that my brakes are lubricant and they smooth always and this this paste and greases are now all they have designed for right position and then also in that bolt it is brake lubricant I add this in that amount and and then I use my finger and I insert this lubricant in all areas then I, I know that this part in here is really flexible. And then I press that bolt only down, and then it's really used years. Okay, and same thing in this upper bolt. And I move that. And 
I take that also away. I only okay now it goes away, and I can see that there is no much this lubricant, and this is again this uh, brake lubricant. And I install that in here. And as you can see, I insert that quite a lot in here. Because this is bad position. There is wet and dusty and that's and then I press that in down and then I check that how well it works. It well really well. Like in two fingers grip is this test. But they must move easy way. That way. Okay, good. Now these parts are fine. And then then there is this final part is this caliper. When we install in here those new brake pads, we need to press this brake caliper in back in the starting position. And that's... That's... That's we need tongs, what I have in here. And I need to insert that tongs in between that area and then this one in here and then only press carefully down. And be careful, because sometimes it happens that my finger becomes in here, and then when I force in that force, can you believe what happens to this, my finger? Oh, oh, it's, it's painful. But, but it, we have then a bad thing in here, and be careful that you use gloves, and then especially this pressing point, be careful. Because, because do not insert your finger in here. No, only like in, like in outer area and carefully. And then when I press that area, let's look in here. This piston goes to back. Now it's like a couple of millimeters or half centimeters away, but quite soon it goes down. When I start to press in here and then look, it goes so this in here. Excellent. And in that point, I can I can add this my lubricant also in here, this down area. It's mandatory. In here, in here. And here is this my lubricant. Remember, this is not this is suitable. There is this, and I insert in also in here down area. There. Now I am happy because all areas are lubricant. And now I think that that everything is fine and then I can install this my brake pads back in there. It's my next job. Okay, and then I have here this my brake pads in my hands. And then I install, I have added there this, this metal. Metal, what was this? Like metal free, metal free paste. There is no metal. And then copper paste in this upper area and down area. And then this area must be clean. And first I insert that in here. First this little bit movement in that way. And there are those holes. We target that point in there. And then this upper area also. There is this hole. This is not so easy to install in here. But now, when it is in holes, only press in that direction. And a little bit force that they are they take contact to this brake disc. Then I had this second disc, and then remember, there is small metallic hook in here, and these hooks always Goes to, the, goes to this inner area, what are in this inside car body. I, I don't know why, there's some idea. And then I rotate that in this position, and then I check that there is metal free paste, copper paste, and in that position, and then I try to keep that area so clean than possible. And if this paste and copper paste goes to that area, then we need to take 
immediately this cotton cloth and we need to clean away those creases. And then I insert that second this inner brake pad in there and let's see that this is not so easy to install and in that position and then I start to press this is quite tight this is Kia Hyundai's problem that they are not so easy to install now it went in there good and then we check that that they are in same they are both pads are pressing this brake disc what is in central and then I take this brake caliber and it goes in here in that way and then loop these points in here I need to press a little bit down that bolt and also in here a little bit down and I move that now it is nicely in there good and then we have these bolts these locking bolts and next we need also this copper paste this copper paste this brown thing in also in these bolts in that way and then because then these bolts they there is no this rusty thing and corrosion and they are easy to open there I insert that in there and little bit movement then there was this second bolt and same thing copper paste and also in there and by the way how much this paste tube is cost like this copper paste is five US dollars or five euros and then this brake loop five US dollars and then this metal thread paste five US dollars and then then this Remember that these stuff are harmful. When I rotate, there is this, where is this, this thing that, that there is this symbol. Symbol that, there is this symbol, this red symbol that these are harmful to us. Okay, th there we can see a little bit this thing. There, there is this red and cross. It means that it is dangerous to our skin and our body. Okay, and now there is this copper paste. And then I insert that final bolt in there. And then when we install these bolts, it is when we move that caliper a little bit, it is easier to adjust these bolts in their back. And then when we rotate that, sometimes there is the second bolt in that slot. In just in this, this hole. That it can rotate also. And then we need to press in that area with tongs that we can rotate that bolt in here. Sometimes if you notice that, hey, something is not happened, check that hole in here. And, and press this bolt using tongs now this this seems to be work well okay and then this upper one I rotate also and please notice this is quite a dirty job but now I can say that this this rare brake pad system there has been also made this brake parts lubrication and it is important because now, when I, I fasten these bolts, now they are quite, quite, they are quite well fastened. Now this part moves. This is the movement. This caliper moves and, and there is this flexibility. This is the mandatory. When if, if your brake caliper don't move like that, then you need to lubricate and maybe replace some parts. Okay, but now this is fine and then 
Then I need to take this my my friends and I need to fasten and now this fastening direction is like in that way. I up and up and then the second down bolt is in there. And then the final step is that we need to fasten these bolts using dog weapons too. And I will take that next. That, that I fasten these bolts so much that they are enough tight. And also, sometimes I have one time managed to broke one this bolt in here because I use too long tool. There is risk that we can broke in this bolt and also risk that this bolt is too loose. That's we need to this, use this dog weapons tool. Okay, and here I have this dog weapons tool and I need to set up here this force what is now like 30 newton meters. And this setting happens so that I rotate this adjusting bolt and then this line becomes 30. 30 and it is in LPF foot something like 20. And then I connect this my socket that side. And this dog reference tool works so that when I move that and when this tool clicks, it means that now we have enough force. First I insert the tool in here and then when I start to move that and it and when this tool says click, force is OK. OK. Now it's fine. And then I change this upper bolt. It was in there. Let's, let's check that now. This is a little bit more complex. OK, let's look. Now it's more difficult to fasten that not position. I can fasten. Okay, maybe I need to insert that my tool in here and then fasten in here. And I need like extra bar in here. And so we continue. Okay, and now I have here this longer this bar that I can measure this thing and, and I go to insert this my tool in here. There is this my tool and I insert that in this point and then in that position and then let's hear that when it says click. Okay, and that means that now now this now these bolts are fine and then these bolts are right tightening and that bolt also and then we have the final step to do because now these parts are a little bit there is no this brake fluid compression what comes in here and that's I need to go to this car's cabin area and I need to press brake pedal 20 times that these calipers takes contact and let's look what happens to these calipers when I go to press next 20 times this cast brake? Now I make that, and now I believe that that this these brakes are fine. And there is now compression, and then final step is to insert this field pack and be sure that these field bolts, what I install in here, pack when field is in here, that. I need to 
used is my talk reference again and I need to insert in here 100 newton meters this force that these field poles are enough tight. Now I rotate that my tool and this is the final step that I I tighten these field poles enough tight. Okay, but this was this video that how to replace and lubricate this Kia's and Hyundai's real brake pads. Okay, and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.